Bob Kafaro here. Good morning. Today is Saturday, November 18th. And it's a sad day because it's the last day of the Collingswood Farmers Market here in South Jersey. And to me, this farmers market is one of the highlights. <laughs> For me, it's one of the highlights of the year. Well, my life actually because I get local organic produce uh, as much as I can use and then I preserve it by vacuum sealing it or dehydrating it and I have it for the whole winter so all good things come to an end and this is the last day of this one in 2017 so Anyway, let's head over to the market and let's see what they have this morning. Okay. Okay, here at the farmer's market and you have to see something. So we're in Collingswood, New Jersey. Now look at this. These are the water towers. You ever wonder where your water pressure comes from? Look at these towers. Here. These things are huge. Look at this all the way up there. Wow, a modern miracle. How to get water pressure at home. Build a tower. So anyway, let's head over to the market. Anyway, I'm sad, it's the last day. It's November 18th today. Well, let's see what's here. Okay, Dan and Lynn. There we are, let's, let's have a look. <laughs> This morning. Good morning, Mark. Hey, Bob. How are you? How are you? Morning, Dan. Good morning there, Robert. I'm in mourning here. Good morning, Lynn. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Wim Hof, you look cold. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm in mourning here. It's the last day of the Collingswood Farmers Market. Let's see what they have. We have popcorn, lettuce. We have kale in the empty bin. I already got some. There's arugula. Bok choy, I got some already. The, the last of the tomatoes. We have uh, unpopped corn. Broccoli, I already got some of that. Let's see, we have... What is that? Looks like some kind of a broccoli. We have cabbage. Look at this. Look at that acorn squash. And Romanesco. Romanesco. Is that what it is? Yep. Uh, it's a form Look of broccoli. Looks like science projects. Is it cross between a broccoli and a cauliflower. Wow. Delicious. Okay. Cooked or raw. Very wow. good. All right, and we have acorn squash kombucha. I got some of those. And butternut. Okay, I think I got some of those. And of course, the last of the beets here. I got some already. And organic sweet potatoes. Look at these. Look at all these organic sweet potatoes. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Three boxes of these, I'll be over 100 in no time. Anyway, let's head home and sort out what we got. Heading home from the Collingswood Farmer's Market and a little sad, it was kind of like, uh, kind of like a funeral. Collingswood Farmer's Market closing for the season. It's always the last Saturday before Thanksgiving and Oh, just, uh, you know, I'm not the only one that likes food from their organic farmer. So, anyway, it was a great year and uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got uh, kabucha squash this year and I've got uh, actually four crates, two crates of sweet potatoes. I've got a crate of kabuchas, a crate of acorn squash. I got uh, organic bok choy broccoli. Uh, I got Actually, two more dozen duck eggs for my son, Ryan, uh, the MMA fighter. He loves duck eggs, so that's always a surprise. It's a way to get him over for breakfast, too. So, <laughs> anyway, all right, well, let's head home and sort out what we have. Back from the market, let's look at a couple of the things here. There's a crate of organic sweet potatoes there. 
And here, here's uh, a bigger one. There's a milk crate size of organic sweet potatoes. So I know it's a lot of food, but it's the last one of the year, last day of the farmer's market. So look at these, a whole milk crate full of acorn squashes. Look at how good those things look. Wow. And here we have kabucha squash. Look at those and butternut squash underneath. So let's head upstairs and see what other things we have. So here, look at the bag. I have four heads of organic lettuce in this bag. And you can see what I did. I cut it up. I spun dry it on the salad spinner after it was washed. And then you can see there are all layers of paper towels in there. And then I squeeze the air out of the bag. And that will last for, stay fresh as can be for about a week. Really great system of doing that. And here, we have organic bok choy. Look at that, okay? And then here, over here, we have organic duck eggs. And I got these for my son, Ryan, who, the professional MMA fighter, he loves these. Look at the size of these eggs. Duck eggs, they're so big that I can't even close the box there. <laughs> so, wow, what a great day, and I'm so sad to see the farmer's market come to an end. But uh, today I think I'm gonna make caprese with tofu, basil, and the last of these tomatoes over here. Let's take a look at these. These are the last of the tomatoes from the organic farmer here, and you can see they were grown in one of the tunnels. And they still look great. Here we are, it's November 18th, and look at those tomatoes. But end of the year, let's enjoy them while they last, and get busy now and make a plate of caprese.